here we are again, guys, and bringing you good news, talk about Yonkers, talk about art world in Yonkers. And our guest today is Ramiro Dominguez. He's going to tell us about art. He's going to tell us how did he got involved. He's going to tell us where did he, dis did, did he discover his artistic side. Welcome to Yonkers Voices, Ramiro. Uh, Ramiro, tell us about you. Tell us about when did you discover your artistic inclination. Tell us anything. Absolutely. So I grew up, I was born and raised on uh, in the Bronx, uh, right on Hip Hop Boulevard. And so that's, uh, uh, if you're not aware, that's where hip hop started. So uh, you know, I went to school in the Bronx, uh, junior high school, high school in the Bronx. I was surrounded by graffiti everywhere I went. Um, you know, graffiti was, uh, was, was one of the only things that popped in the neighborhood. Everything is, you know, it's basically a concrete jungle. Um, and graffiti is something that you can look at to, uh, you know, take your mind off of things a little bit. We might need to speak a little louder, so the sure. mic, you know, please. Absolutely. So, uh, in Yonkers, when did you come to Yonkers? And what made you come to Yonkers? Right, so I have some family in Yonkers. Um, uh, so after uh, college, I moved to Yonkers. And I got an apartment with them, um, And my apartment had a balcony. Uh, so I was able to do graffiti on my uh, in my balcony and uh, on canvases, and that's kind of where uh, it took off from there. Now, before we go much further on this interview, I have to give a shout out to our sponsors, Denim Boutique forward slash Legacy. This is you know from them, 371 Warburton Avenue. Guys, check them out. Okay, check them out. They have top-notch quality on t-shirts, pants. That's the place to go if you are in Yonkers and you want to see some sports appeal, apparel, how you say it? Apparel. Apparel. That's the place to go. Legacy, Dan and Boutique. Check the new style, the GOAT. I'm the GOAT. I don't care what nobody else out, out there say. I am the GOAT. But hey, guys, you can be the, you know, the GOAT as well. So check them out. Go look for Gus. You know, check whatever they have. You can buy it online. But pay them a visit. 371 Warburton Avenue in Yonkers, New York. Now, look, there is lots of kids in Yonkers that love art. But they don't know how to start. They don't know where to look. Is that like association? Is that like workshops where they can see, test themselves? talk to mentors like you? Yeah, absolutely. So we have, thankfully, Yonkers has a big uh, art scene. Uh, There's a, a bunch of galleries within the same vicinity. Uh, we also have, you know, the, the uh, art studios on Nippon Ave, where there's a lot of local artists uh, with, with their art studios. So, um, you know, take a walk into any of those uh, art studios and um, art galleries um, and ask questions. Don't be scared, don't be uh, nervous or anything. Everyone is, you know, open and everyone started just like you. Uh, so, you know, don't be, uh, don't be afraid, don't right? Don't be afraid, yeah. Now, a few days ago, I think it was last week, I met you in Yonkers. I don't want to name the, the place where we met. I met you, but you were having a show right next door. Right. How does that go? Do I just walk in and say, listen, I have some material. I want to be here in your showroom. How does it work? Right, so with this show, it was a uh, it was by application. So um, it's a, it's an artist run gallery um, with the curator. One of the curators is uh, you know, a, a professor at FIT um, and helps students out at FIT as well. Um, her name is Melissa Stark. So if you uh, walk into work Walburn Gallery, you can ask her; she can guide you. But um, with this particular show, um, there was a selection of of ten uh, paintings where you know. We'd, Submit, uh, uh, submit the paintings and um, the curators will select uh, which paintings will get into the show. Now guys, now we're going to start another segment, but before we go, I want to ask you guys to please, this is the videos that you should be sharing. This is the positive stuff that we should be putting the message out. Good stuff. Things that make you go wow. Things that help you discover yourself, share it. Forget about the negative stuff. This is it. So I'm going to put the challenge to you. 
let's see how many shares can we get from this video versus the ones we get from the negative stuff. Okay? I tell people all the time, you know, the ones who are sharing negative, it's you. Right. I only posted once. Right. You are the ones that it made is. it go wild, right. you know? Exactly. So guys, share it. Okay. And if you are an artist or involved in some kind of a positive stuff here in Yonkers, please reach out to yonkersvoice.support at yonkersvoice.com. Let us know what you do, why you want, you want this interview, what you're trying to achieve, and we will make it, make it happen. Now, sometimes I get a lot of emails that I'm not able to respond, or I might lose one or two, or I watch it later, and then I forget about it. If I don't respond, insist. How, how do you feel that artistic community work? Are you happy? Uh, are you one community? Is there two different communities, two or three, where this group doesn't support that group? Kind of a competition going on? Right. So far what I've seen is, is, is a whole collective. You know? uh, they even do uh, gallery walks where a group of, uh, of anyone interested in art, they, they hop around galleries and galleries and show support to different artists. Uh, so, you know, there's different um, galleries for different realms. If you like sculpture or uh, making jewelry, uh, there's Blue Door Art. Uh, if you're maybe uh, like any type of art in general, there's Urban uh, Studio Down and uh, World Burn Gallery. Um, you know, there's a, it's a whole collective. It seems like it's a very uh, tight mix of community where everyone supports each other. Domingos, Domingo, Dominguez. You know, sometimes my Portuguese gets the best of it, so don't, don't take it in an offensive way. Okay. Uh, how long do you expect to stay here? Do you have a time frame? Are you, are you here forever? Are you here for a long time? You just don't know for how long? I, I've been here for almost seven years, um, and I haven't left because the art scene just keeps getting bigger, the environment just keeps getting better. Uh, so even though I, I would like a more, more suburban, quiet area, something keeps me here in Yonkers for some reason. So um, it's hard to say if I would leave or not. <laughs> you know why? You know, you know why you keep staying because Yonkers is the best. Okay, and I think we haven't seen anything yet when it comes to art. Right. This is just the beginning. Absolutely. Okay. This is this is just the start. Absolutely. Arts and paint. Uh, what difference? types of art, you know, you are a particular artist in a certain type of art, correct? Right. So tell us a little bit of, about your art and the comparison with other artists. Absolutely, so my my art stems from, you know, graffiti. I was a, uh, a writer and a graphic uh, graffiti artist where I specialize in wild style. Wild style is, you know, putting letters into a lot of different shapes and, uh, and you know, a lot of different lines and a bunch of colors together. So that's kind of where my abstract art stems from. So I consider myself an abstract artist. Um, the materials I use is, you know, it could, it could go from, uh, from oil uh, to acrylic paint to uh, oil pastels, crayons, anything, because um, I, I just kind of like using anything around me and being creative with it. And not really thinking too much, I just do it. Now, Ramiro, if I want to look at your art, if I want to go see it, I know that you have an expo on Warburton. Uh, what number is that? 10, 14? A 10 worth Warburton. 10 Warburton. If you want to go and see you know, uh, his art on a wall so you can admire it, 10 Warburton Avenue. But taking that out, how would I see it? Do you have a place where I can see, go and see your work, where I can purchase your work? Absolutely. So I have a website, I have Instagram. I have my, this is my art studio here. So I usually do uh, private studio sessions where Either you want to make some art with me, or maybe do some art therapy. We can do that. Um, maybe if you don't want to do graffiti in the street, we can do graffiti on my wall. You know. Um, but other than that, if you want to purchase, is uh, randabull.com or bullisharts.com. Uh, my email is uh, bullisharts at gmail.com. Um, and yeah, my my studio is 5:30 in front of the You know, you can shoot me an email if you, if you want to, you know, check out my art at any time. Uh, we can schedule some time and. Can I create something with you? Can I hire you and say, listen, I'm not inclined, I have not, you know, what it takes to create, 
but I want to do something that I can put on my wall and maybe pass it on to my grandchildren. But I need some guidance. Okay? I need somebody to guide me, to help me. Do you do that? Absolutely. I, I bring a lot of family and friends and even strangers here where uh, the best thing I, I like to hear is, hey, I'm not creative. And all I say is, hey, you know, come to the studio and just grab a brush, you know, grab a spray can and just see how it makes you feel. And once they do that, and with a little bit of guidance and some techniques, they're like, wow, my gosh, this is amazing. So it's, it's you know, it's a, you go home with a great piece and a little bit of therapy as well. Ramiro, I cannot paint for nothing in this world. Do you think somebody like me can come and create something? Absolutely. Are you sure? Absolutely. Because I might take on that offer and come back here and create something that I can pass it on for generations to come. I don't care if it's pretty or beautiful. All that I care is that maybe my great, great, great grandchildren can look at that and say, he did it. Right. You know, 75 years ago exactly. or whatever. Right. Yeah, you know, I, I do that all the time. It'll be, a, it'll be an honor. It'll be a pleasure. Now, workshops. Do you have workshops here? So or do you create workshops once a year? How does that work? Right. So I usually do private workshops uh, with people of interest, but soon I'll have an official, you know, day and time for workshops. Uh, I'm looking to, uh, you know, bring anyone and anyone that's interested in art, maybe that doesn't want to do graffiti in the street and maybe wants to, uh, a controlled environment to do graffiti and learn graffiti or even learn abstract art or just express yourself in any way. So I'll be uh, announcing that real soon on my Instagram. So a group of people together can hire you and create something as a group, correct? Absolutely. Again, what's that number? <laughs> if they want to, because look man, people need you know, maybe we get a group of people that start this video by the middle. They right. heard, didn't hear the first part. Right. So we're going to repeat it over and over. Right. So how can they get to reach you? So my email is bullisharts at gmail.com, randthebullart at gmail.com. My website is bullisharts.com. My Instagram is randthebull at instagram.com. And the Instagram for the studio space is bullisharts at, at, um, at bullisharts. So you guys can reach them one way or the other. Now, you know, there's lots of crime in Yonkers. Well, crime is everywhere, not just Yonkers. I strongly believe that part of the, of the problem is that kids don't have options. Okay? They're hanging out on the streets, getting involved with others that do wrong, then they get involved in the wrong, and in the, in the end, we know how it comes to them. And one of the reasons is because they don't have things to do. Right. Have you spoken to the city about creating a program that is positive and gets kids off the street and do things that are? So that's something I really want to do. One of the reasons, because I, I used to do art only in my apartment. Um, and one of the reasons why I got a studio space is to do that. I got the studio space right before COVID hit. So my plan was to have start workshops right away, you know, things of that nature, COVID hit, and now as things are clearing up, so I'm you know, planning again just to uh, get those programs uh, moving forward because the way I grew up, I wish I had a space like this, you know? So that's, you know, it's, it motivates me to keep going. Because you know, a lot of people that grew up just like me, and they're not as fortunate uh, to, you know, to have a space to be creative and express themselves. Now, guys, before we go further, another shout out to Danny Boutique, Legacy, oh, it's a legacy, 371 Warburton Avenue. That's where you can get one of these, just like mine, all kind of colors, uh, white on black, black on white, all different colors. This hat, Legacy, check them out. 371 Warburton Avenue. Support local businesses, please. Be part of the solution, not just part of those who complain about the solution. Let's get involved in fixing things. What about, what about other type of art? Do you do anything else besides abstract? Yeah, so I do a lot of digital art. Um, I make logos and uh, design uh, you know, merchandise um, as well for, you know, for a lot of people. Website design, anything design-wise, um, pretty much into 
My forte is abstract art, but I like to dabble into a lot of different things. So guys, Ramiro Dominguez, Yonkers artist, does abstract, logos, everything that you might need in the artistic world. Even if I didn't name it, but you're not sure, call him up. Go to his uh, social, uh, social media, Instagram, the uh, web page, ask the question. What do you have to lose, right? Yeah. Ask the question. If he doesn't do it, then he's going to tell you, look, I don't do that. Maybe, maybe he can refer you to something else or to someone else. And if he does it, then give business to our local business right here in Yonkers. The artistic, the arts community, it's expanding. It's getting bigger and bigger, very well structured. So get involved and help our local local office. Thank you guys for watching. But before we lock, we close up, is there anything else, from Ramiro, that you want to bring up? Uh, you know, just want to emphasize again, there's not many spaces where you can do graffiti, you know, express yourself um, and, and learn as an artist, especially as a young or established artist, you know, uh, let's collaborate, uh, let's, uh, let's bring this art stuff, uh, let's keep accelerating Yonkers Arts, you know. Um, again, Ram the Bull at Instagram, uh, bullisharts.com, it's the website, uh, Ram the Bull at Ram the Bull Art at gmail.com and bullisharts at gmail.com if you guys want to talk about anything. Feel free to shoot me an email or a DM on Instagram. I'll be wide open to answer any questions. Well, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget, contact us if you have a positive story, if you have something that can motivate our community in a good direction. Contact us, yv.support at yonkersvoice.com. This is not my voice. This is your voice. This is not a platform for me, it's a platform for you, where you can voice your opinions, where you can talk about issues that are important to you and people will he hear about it. Thank you, actions, not words. Thank you. Yeah. Until later.